Today we're going to do an activity to review isotopes and the composition of their nuclei and to simulate unstable isotopes. And we're going to be really careful wearing goggles and have robust shoes, even ones like Doc Martens, uh, and have enough room for the activity. Uh, small vegetable cans of two different types of vegetables or other small cans, but not beverage cans. And we need a pair of volunteers. One will be the thrower and one will be the catcher. And here's the uh, list of instructions, uh, but we're going to go through each of them uh, one at a time and you can go back to that narrative if you need to. So one student's going to throw the nucleons we used a can of peas to represent protons and one can was one proton and throw one at a time until the atomic number of your chosen element has been reached. The catcher will catch the can in a single hand with the other hand behind their back and for larger nuclei you can place the protons, cans of peas, in a string bag plastic won't do because it'll stretch and break. And once the required number of protons is in the bag, continue with neutrons. And we had small cans of corn, one can representing one neutron. And put those in the string bag too. And continue until you have a stable nucleus. And here we have uh, lithium-7 with three cans of peas, protons, and four cans of corn, neutron, neutrons. And then continue throwing a can of corn at a time, but they are not going to be put into the bag. And if and when one is dropped, that's going to represent your unstable nucleus. And here we have lithium-8. Uh, with three protons and five neutrons. We'll continue with six uh, cans of peas, protons, and six cans of corn, representing carbon-12. And again, uh, those are in a string bag, but any additional ones will not be put in, in the bag. So if we go to this where we have six protons, cans of peas, and seven neutrons, cans of corn, we have the isotope carbon-13. And uh, looking at the image here, how many protons and neutrons are represented? What element is it? And how would you write down uh, the isotope's name? Now draw cans to represent a stable isotope of sodium. So pause while you do this and then describe, don't draw, uh, the makeup of a nucleus of the uranium-235 uh, atom. Uh, you'd need a really big wheelbarrow and a lot of cans of peas if you were doing it with those. And then we're going to do a little bit of review things to remember. And here we've got on the left representation of three isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen 1 and uh, in the element box the higher number represents the atomic mass and the lower one its atomic number. The one below that is hydrogen 2 uh, with a mass number of 2 uh, because it's got an extra neutron. And then finally hydrogen 3 and if you look at the diagram uh, on the right uh, you see those isotopes uh, actually showing the uh, nucleus and indeed the electrons. Uh, it's hydrogen because there's one proton in each of those nuclei and in a neutral atom each one is going to have a single electron. And also some isotope facts. Um, 
all isotope uh, elements have isotopes, some uh, really very small numbers, and there are two main types of isotopes, stable and unstable, and we're calling the unstable ones radioactive. There are 254 known stable isotopes of the elements that form stable isotopes. All artificial isotopes are unstable. We're on the uh, uh, beyond transuranium elements and they're called radioisotopes. Some elements only exist in an unstable form and hydrogen is the only element whose isotopes have been given specific names. Deuterium with a symbol uh, capital letter D uh, for uh, hydrogen with one neutron and tritium uh, with a single T as its symbol for hydrogen with two neutrons. And you can go to the UPAC site here uh, with a lot of information about each element and uh, you're looking at the isotope definition, same number of proton, prom, protons with different numbers of neutrons. Uh, elements atomic mass given in the periodic table is an average of all isotopes weighted dependent on the abundance of each isotope has to be taken into consideration. Radioactive elements, uh, they're going to decay with different rates of decay for different elements called their half-life. And radioactive elements produce alpha, beta, uh, gamma uh, rays uh, in their decay material. And each emission, whether it's an alpha, beta, particle or a gamma ray is specific uh, to a particular isotope. And here are some uses and if you uh, go to the link below you'll see a lot more. Americium-241 in smoke detectors, carbon-14 radiocarbon dating of historic archaeological objects, uh, cesium-137 to treat uh, certain cancers, uh, iridium-192 to monitor pipeline welds, plutonium-238 to power uh, some unmanned spacecraft, and technetium-99 uh, used in medical diagnoses. Go, guys. Your mole's proton pressure would be equivalent. Yeah, good. Proton, right? Yeah, good. You got a... Yeah, throw it. Helium. Well, okay, okay. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. Lithium seven coming up. Oh, Lithium six and a half coming up. <laughs> no, it has to be a whole number. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Good time. Can we put your here? Oh, we don't. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait, wait. So, before she throws it, you throw it in there, you kind of don't want to do that. Oh, that's what he's talking about. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> uh, four protons. That's big money. Yeah, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Put it like there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. We use both. Didn't we use the table, I think? What do you mean the table? Right? Like we set them no. on the table. Oh, no, we don't. Right. Oh my god. No, ready? Okay, so now we gotta finish up that So Okay, the grocery store loads up on cans of peas and I'm like, I'm gonna make it. They've gone up in price, by the way. Yeah, this is a nice spot. Yeah. Okay, Sarah, ready? Ready, go. Nobody would have mattered when I started. We must be. Carbon. Eight. Carbon.
Um, we're on carbon. Um, well, how many? On, how many got? No, carbon eleven at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I I would just. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so, so the video card. No, 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 like, yes. That was good. Now that's carbon twelve. Ah, okay. Look. Standard, <laughs> standard issue, normal oh. carbon, right? Six neutrons, six neutrons. Oh, Carbon 12. Now let's try to get some radioactive decay. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, That's what happens when you I, yeah. All right. And with thanks to Wiz Science and Miss Dem Dennis' chemistry class uh, for help with this exercise.